Meanwhile, as the nationwide protests against the hunger and bad governance entered the fifth day yesterday, President Bola Tinubu summoned a National Security Council meeting where issues of security threats to the country were discussed. The security meeting, which held at the president's office at the State House Abuja, also looked into the new trend of protesters hoisting the Russian flag in some states in the north. Briefing State House correspondents at the end of the security meeting, the Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, described as a treasonable offense the hoisting of Russian flags in the cities of Nigeria. The CDS also ruled out any possible group or possible coup rather, to remove the democratically elected government, saying that the military would not allow any such attempt to succeed. People said it was um, a peaceful rival, but we have warned against it because we realize that there are individuals that are willing to take advantage of it to cause me and we can see clearly what has happened since it has commenced. Criminals have taken over, a lot of looting, a lot of uh, stealing and all sorts happening. And besides that, I'm also aware, we're also aware that I'm seeing, all of us have seen it, where some uh, foreign flags have been flown within the sovereignty of Nigeria and that is totally unacceptable. Uh, we are warning in, in clear terms and the president has also said we should convey this that we will not accept anybody any individual flying any foreign flag in Nigeria that is treasonable offense and it will be viewed and treated as such so nobody should allow himself to be used by any individual also the issue of coups Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Nigeria is a democratic nation. All security agencies are here to defend democracy and ensure that democracy continues to strive. We will not accept anyone pushing or taking any action, seemingly or for whatever reason, to want to push for any change of government. Democracy is what we stand for. Democracy is what we continue to defend. The military is going to step in when it is out of ban. And we can see that for people, subversive elements to push individuals to carry Russian flags in Nigeria, Nigerian sovereignty, that is crossing the lead line. And we will not accept that. And those ones who have done that will go in for the books and they're going to be prosecuted. Recall that some protesters in Kanu, Kaduna, Zamfara and Plateau states have hoisted the Russian flags in the aforementioned states for, from Saturday last week. But the Chief of Defense Staff said that those behind such a grievous offense would face the wrath of the law. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.